Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Divine Empress. I come to do our daily messages. I hope you guys are doing well. And thank you for your patience as I go through this transition. But let's see what Spirit has to say to us today with the daily messages. Spirit, give me what I need. Okay. Wow. New beginnings. First card to come out. I'm so happy about that. Uh huh. New beginnings mean that you get ready to move on. You get ready to move on to some things that you've been praying about, some things that you've been manifesting, some things that you've been meditating on. You're getting ready to move towards that. You get ready to move on. All right. And as you see in this card, you see the darkness right there. You're getting ready to move on from that. You see the light. Mm hmm. So prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. the new, these new beginnings are going to be are going to be so beautiful and you got foundation and achievements here okay so definitely you're, you're going to achieve a lot doing this doing this process and it's going to create a, a firm foundation for you you're going to have a, a foundation in, in, in the, this is family this is joy this is this is happiness okay what else spirit what else all right. Spirit wants you to stand your ground. Okay. So no matter, it doesn't matter what it is. Speak up, stand your ground. And you know, it, it might feel scary. All right. But just stand your ground because standing your ground is what, what is going to get you to the next level. Okay. You got to stand your ground. Sometimes you have to stand up. You Not sometimes. You always stand up for yourself. Okay. This card came out. What? Okay, it was disruption, y'all. The disruption card came out. So the disruption is, and I'm just gonna keep it. Um, I'm gonna keep it positive. It could be negative, but from what I see, this disruption is gonna cause. Um, this disruption is coming from these new beginnings and you moving on, and you know the disruption of moving and transition and the new beginnings as far as a job, your place, um, meeting new people. Okay especially if you're coming out of your comfort zone, but you also have fertility here, okay? That's new beginnings as well, but that's also pregnancy. And you see the heart chakra is lit up, okay? The heart chakra is lit up. So like, again, that's that family card right here. So you might have some, you might have, you might be getting ready to come into union, uh-huh, because look at the bottom of the deck. You got spiritual union, partnership, and alliances. So what this is telling me is that, you probably, not probably, you're going to have someone coming in and you all are going to collaborate together. This is beautiful, okay? And it's going to be a spiritual union. Be careful, you might get pregnant. But the heart chakra is, um, the heart chakra is pretty much lit in this uh, card. So uh, work on your heart chakra and make sure you your heart is flowing so you can feel the emotions. And this right here has something to do with your confidence. Build your confidence up because you got some great things coming to you. You got passion, passion ignited, all right? All right, so there go the heart chakra again. So I do see a firm foundation. I see foundation and achievements. I see family. I see marriage. I see children. I see it all. I do, okay? You get ready to move on to where you to what your heart's desire. And that's, this is beautiful. Okay. I didn't mean to get that many cards, but that's how it came out. So let's see what else is going on. Spirit, give me what I need. Spirit, give me what I need. Okay. So we have dream and journey. Okay. So definitely listen to some, um, music with the, um, Definitely take some time and just pay attention to the moon cycles and get and start journal, journaling and putting your dreams out there so you can and um, when you listen to music with the um, with drums that's predominant, you'll definitely feel a different you feel a different vibration. Okay, drums are very powerful. And um, medicine guardian, okay, be open to healing information that could be healing your emotions, it could be healing your heart, it could be healing some, you know, anything else that you have going on that needs uh, healing spirit is that you know, your emotions pay attention to this information because it's going to be coming to you through downloads. And they say, learn from your spiritual experiences. So spirit wants you to pay attention to some of the things that has happened to you in the past and how you have gotten through it or. Um, and just, you know, and whatever is going on right now, they want you to pay attention to what you're going, what's going on right now. So you can, um, learn from these experiences. Okay. They want you to be the light. Okay. No matter what's going on, you keep flowing. You be the light. Okay. They go to owl and you got a butterfly. Okay. Butterflies. That means 
They want you to con continue to evolve and evolve and use your wisdom. And then you have direction guardian. They want you to choose your path, but make sure you choose your path correctly and make sure you are paying attention to the information that you're getting so you can make the right de decisions as you move forward. And they want you to trust and thrive. You don't have to walk in fear. Everything is being taken care of. And they want you to harness your mystic powers, meaning pretty much just go within. Go within and know that you have everything that you desire, everything that you need to... Um, and uh, the, your mystic power means your meditation and then getting downloads, you know, from your meditation. Pay attention to that because it's some, it's some information that's being directed towards you. And you have the black cat here. You got the black cat. You have a deer. All right. So if you if any of these animals, you know, or insects, whatever, um, you might see one of these. They plant they, they, it's messages in this. OK, it's safe for you to let go. You're definitely surrounded by love. Okay, so you're surrounded by love. It's safe for you to let anything go, anything from the past or just anything that doesn't serve you. Spirit wants you to let it go because you're surrounded by love and you're definitely going to have new beginnings. And then you have feel and release. Release all you have accumulated on this journey. Okay, so um, Spirit is letting you know the emotions and sometimes it's time to purge your personal things. Okay, purge your personal things so you can move forward. And you don't have to let things hold you back from, from moving forward, okay? And it says shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. So if you have any if you got fear going on about anything, just just pray about it. Not even pray about it. Just meditate, pray. However you how, yeah, pray. Pray, meditate, however you connect with your spirit guides and the universe. Definitely pray and put that love on this fear. Okay. Love will light up the darkness always okay love is the highest level the highest vibration on you know in this earth on this earth and it's the it's so beautiful and they say be feel receive abundance because all that you desire is achievable okay so what they're doing is that, that what they're saying right now to you is that you know it doesn't matter what what you have going on right now is achievable nothing can stop you okay receive abundance feel abundance okay and and that's why I told you all to go. I wanted you you all to reiterate, meaning go look, re, you know, look at the secret again because that movie right there has really get you know it it kind of gave me a refresher or of what I needed to do, and so I wanted you all you know so I can continue to manifest the right way, and I wanted you all to also look at the secret so you can see okay this is what i need to do this is what i need to stop doing so because this is blocking my manifestation but they want you to be feel receive abundance because everything that you desire is achievable <laughs> nothing can stop you stand your ground they say be strong and be the god in light ground yourself ground yourself be love and know that you know sometimes you when you're going through um certain things you could be picking up on other people's emotions, okay? That's what I've noticed as well. You pick up on other people's emotions. So make sure that, you know, the, some of the feelings and emotions that you're going through are yours. Because sometimes it could be somebody else's that's around you or someone that, you know, that, that's close to you, okay? Spirit, give me what I need, okay? Somebody going through a divorce, <laughs> a breakup. Spirit, give me what I need. Okay, y'all mirroring somebody. Y'all mirror you and you and someone. Y'all mirroring each other right now. Okay. Oh, this person say I love you, and if they don't love you, or if that spirit not saying I love you, I'm telling you, I love you. I do. I really do. I really appreciate y'all. Okay, they're saying you can't buy love though. Okay, you can't buy love. If someone can't love you for who you are, <laughs> let them go on about their business. They say I want to marry you. Wow, that's why these cards are coming out like this. Okay, you got your soulmate card and you they want you to remain positive. That's why that foundation and achievements are here. You got new beginnings, you got fertility, you got a soulmate coming towards you. Okay, you have um what else? Good gracious, this is nice. This disruption, somebody might get pregnant. Now, you got a spiritual union, yeah. You got the spiritual union. You got this fertility. You got partnership and alliances. You got 
Oh, yeah, you got some great cards here in reference to, oh, Passion Ignited. So someone is coming towards you with some new beginnings. This is your soulmate. They want to marry you. They love you. They're mirroring you. And what they want you to do is continue to be... Um, Continue to be positive no matter what. Keep your energy up. Don't complain about nothing because complaining doesn't do nothing but bring the vibration that bring your vibrations down. Spirit, give me what I need. And learn to compromise because you know what? That disruption card did come out. So this is this is might be a disruption to your routine, okay? And some things that you some things you're gonna have to let go so you can uh, move forward with this relationship because it's remember the card say release all you accumulated. No things you don't have to get rid of everything, but you're gonna have to compromise on what you're gonna keep and what you what you all gonna merge. You gotta keep up the momentum. They want you to tap into your femininity. Okay, meaning, um, you know, just walking your divine feminine energy or divine masculine. It's up to, you know, wh whoever it resonates with. Okay, let's get a few more. And we're going to get some major arcanas. Look at there. It says power couple. Divine timing is at work in, your, in this situation. You got passion. And they want you to pay attention to the angel numbers. And know that this person might have some pride and ego issues. But, um... With love and harnessing your mystic powers, you can definitely, you know, you can't change anyone. Okay, let me make that clear. You can't change anyone, but you could definitely um help this person relax, they relax and not, you know, dwell in their pride and ego so much because it ain't it's not what you say, it's how you say it to the person. Y'all, I can't okay, so let's try let's just use the I am just gonna just use the deck, the whole deck and see what what comes out. So this is different. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, give me what I need. Spirit, give me what I need. Okay, so yes, you do have a love offer coming in. And this love offer is coming. This person is coming in fast. They want reciprocity. Okay, don't let them gaslight you. That's why the spirit is letting you know you can't buy love, okay? You cannot buy love. But at the end of the day, this person is coming in. You got passion. See there? You got passion twice. Um, letting you know that this is gonna this is gonna be a passionate new beginning between you and this person. They come, they want to come in pretty fast, too, y'all. Like for real. And look at here, you got the two of cups. This is all flowing with the love. Okay. So let's see. What else, Spirit? Let's get a few more. Yeah, you got some, you got, you got some, definitely it's some love here. It's, it's, and it's, it's here. It's on its way. You have passion. This is your soulmate. It's a power couple. Let's see. What else, Spirit? What else, Spirit? Okay. Just flipped over. Okay. Somebody went through a transformation. Somebody went through a rebirth. Remember when I was pulling these cards, it was stating that um, uh, somebody was going through a divorce. Okay. So somebody might be, uh, it doesn't have to be a divorce. It could be just a breakup. Okay. And they're coming in fast. And look at here. You got the four of wands and the chariot. You got the chariot. The four, the four of wands is that foundations and achievements card to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Family. Stability. You see that? There you go. This is amazing. This has something to do with your twin. This has something to do with your twin, your soulmate. Mm -hmm. And then you got the chariot. They're coming in pretty fast, okay? So just prepare yourself. You know I'm happy for you. You got the lover's card. Oh, wow. And the sun card. <laughs> you got the lovers and the sun. This is happiness, joy, children. This is a decision that's been made. The sun card is a yes, okay? No matter when the sun, come out, sun card come out, it is illuminating everything, but it's also a yes. They're charging in. This is your twin. Um, they have made a decision, and congratulations. Yes, this person has went through an ending. Who I don't know who this person is. Whoever this person is, they have went through a major ending in their life, but they know exactly where they belong, and that's with you, their soulmate. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.